Uh, I was very conscious of uh, being the first in this position as an African American justice on the Supreme Court in the history of the state of Texas. Uh, that was a big deal. Uh, and I felt an obligation uh, not only to uh, do well, perform uh, at the highest levels, uh, but to uh, be elected by uh, Texas generally, uh, by the, in the Republican primary and then in a general election, uh, in part to show that uh, we can do this, uh, that there should not be a barrier uh, to a high office for anybody, regardless of race or you know, health status or economic, uh, you know, condition, uh, that this is a state and nation that uh, treasures talent. It, and if you can show that you belong there, then, then you ought to be elected. Um, and, you know, I, uh, like any, any African American, you know, was proud of uh, people like Thurgood Marshall, who uh, was on the Supreme Court, or Colin Powell, Condoleezza Rice, Barack Obama. Uh, these are men and women who uh, have overcome, you know, a history of uh, a terrible history of racial discrimination going back to slavery. So I think it's important to show that we've you know, we've come a long way. And uh, personally, it was important to me because of my family history, uh, which uh, I've spoken about quite a lot. Uh, my great 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 grandfather uh, was a slave in Waco, Texas, in McLennan County. Uh, before the Civil War, of course, and his owner was a state court district judge. The slave was named uh, Shedrick Willis, and the judge was Judge Nicholas W. Battle, B-A-T-T-L-E. Uh, and it's so ironic to me that now his descendant, the slave's descendant, uh, became Chief Justice of the state of Texas. And we're talking really about not a, a huge amount of time in uh, U.S. history uh, to go from uh, where, where an ancestor was private property and now you are leading the, the second largest state's uh, judicial system. Uh, and it, it, I think it tells a lot about how we've, where we've come as a nation and as a state.